How are you all doing tonight? My name is Big Bummed Boy, and welcome. All the mounts coming in Wrath Phase 2 and Phase 3. Yes, why Phase 2 and 3? I originally wanted to do an all mounts in Wrath video a while ago, but I am a busy man. Now that Phase 2 is coming really soon, this is the play. We're going to cover all the mounts coming in Phase 2 and 3, but first... And do I have something special for my boys today? This video is sponsored by Bloodline Heroes of Lithus Fantasy RPG game on, you guessed it, mobile. You guys know how drawn I am to games with a cool art style, and on that front, Bloodline delivers. You can download it right now and play for free, and even receive an amazing starter pack if you click that link down in the box, valued at $20, containing three stamina potions, 100,000 gold, and 100 diamonds. Now is a good time to try out Bloodline, just had a huge update and brought in a new Lycan Clan, Gultung, for the holiday season. Yeah, they look way better than Volpera. Even better, if you play during the Christmas event that starts on the 22nd, you'll be guaranteed to get one of these guys for free. Also starting this December is the new Guild War, Valley of the Conquerors. This brings brand new maps and legendary hybrids. Get your guild numbers together to claim territory and rewards to create some really unique hybrid champions dubbed bloodcraft legends and this season everyone has a chance at bloodcraft champion scarlet combo of demigods and vamps so get your boys together start playing and claim it for yourself of course new bloodlines legendary hybrids being added all the time can't wait to see what cool shit they come up with next and again my brother you use my link in the box or the qr code to get that special starter pack that really helps you out in the beginning and is valued at 20 dollars and you'll be able to get that new lycan champion for free if you play during that christmas event so you don't want to miss out on that big thanks to bloodline for that spot now let's talk about them mounts let's cover the ones coming from old war first and these will all be in phase two. There's only three of them. Reigns of the Rusted Proto Drake. This is the reward for completing the meta raid achievement, specifically on 10 man. The 25 man equivalent is Reigns of the Ironbound Proto Drake. Yeah, this one is kinda dope shit. I love the glow on the runes. I might have to get this one. And the last Ulvar mount is Mamirin's head. People have given me shit about how I said Mamirin before. Feel free to do that again. Comments help the channel. It is from Yogg, but only the no lights version. Originally, it was a 100% drop chance. I don't see Blizz changing that, and it also came with a feat of strength in original, so that's probably here as well. Now, all three of these old war mounts should also be 310% speed, so that is nice. New arena season, of course, brings new glad mounts. This is the one that will be with phase two, Deadly Gladiator's Frostworm. And then phase three should be Relentless Gladiator's Frostworm. They both look pretty good. Not too different from season one, but you would expect that. I'm not going to grind out glad, but yeah, they look pretty good. And they're also 310. And all the mounts that come with the Argent Tournament, which is a lot. So originally the Argent Tournament mounts were broken up into two waves. Some came with patch 3.1, which is all the daily stuff. And some came with patch 3.2, which is when the raids come out. This is why I grouped Phase 2 and Phase 3 mounts together in this video. There's almost no Phase 3 mounts that aren't related to the Argent Tournament. Which makes sense because, yeah, that's not when the raid came out. In Classic, there will still be two waves of these mounts corresponding to Phase 2 and Phase 3. Most of them are in Phase 2, so let's cover Phase 2 first, and then we'll cover the ones coming in Phase 3. Each race gets two new colors of their racial mount, one with a city name and one with great or some other adjective in the name. The city one always costs 100 champion seals and you can buy it as soon as you have them. The great one costs 5 seals but also about 500 gold. 
Here's all of those mounts. The city one is on the left and the adjective one is on the right. All of them are ground mounts, as you'd expect, I guess. You can buy all of these on one character, but you're going to need Exalted with that city before you can buy their mount. So if you're an orc, you can't buy the raptors unless you're Exalted with Dark Spear. And I think there's also another thing you have to do where you champion that faction, but it's not an involved thing if I remember right. Tried to double check that on the PTR, but couldn't get through all the dailies that were bugging out. And you have to do them for at least five days to get through the first phase of dailies, so... And that didn't happen. Champion seals, by the way, are earned from doing the daily quests located at the Urgent Tournament Grounds. You're going to get real tired of those real fast. And there's a hippogriff. The Argent Hippogriff that anyone can buy if you have the 100 seals. That's all the Argent Tournament mounts for Phase 2. So the ones that are coming in Phase 3... Quell Dorai Steed looks like absolute shit. Damn, don't want. It's 100 seals, and you also need Exalted with the Silver Covenant to purchase this. Thankfully, the Quell Dorai Steed is Alliance only. The Horde equivalent is Sunreaver Hawkstrider. It also costs 100 seals and needs Sunreaver Exalted. And basically, the same as those, there's a flying mount at Exalted with Silver Covenant or Sunreavers. Ally gets. Another Hippogriff, okay. And Horde gets a Sunreaver Dragonhawk that looks phenomenal. These ones cost 150 seals. If you're a Paladin, there's also two Paladin specific mounts from all this Argent tournament shit. There's the Argent Warhorse and the Argent Charger. They're kind of higher res reskins of your existing Paladin mount. These cost 100 seals and you need to be exalted with <laughs> fucking everybody, damn. You need to complete the exalted Origin Champion of the Alliance slash Horde quest before you can even purchase these. So it's a lot of rep. Since Phase 3 will also bring a new raid, that obviously means there's a few new raid achievement mounts and they're actually alright. Crusader's Black Warhorse, this is for Horde. Crusader's White Warhorse being the Alliance version. You need to complete Trial of the Grand Crusader 25 without anyone dying and no wipes. Pretty easy. Swift Horde Wolf and Swift Alliance Horse. Horde get the the Horde Wolf and I get the ally one. This is the loot from 10 man heroic version of Trial, but it only drops if there's been zero wipes. I don't think deaths matter, but I'm not positive about it. There's no achievement mount in 10 man Trial of the Crusader. I guess this is kind of the replacement for that. The Argent Tournament shit was never my favorite, but damn, it does bring a lot of good mounts. And one random ass mount from an anniversary event that I am 99% certain will also be in Classic, probably Phase 3, maybe between Phase 2 and Phase 3. The Onyxia mount, Reigns of the Onyxian Drake. I love this mount, ran it every week on multiple characters, Never saw it drop once. Even tried to farm it on retail a lot during BFA, Legion, and also on multiple characters. Never saw it. So if you get it, well, good for you, I guess. It can drop on 10 or 25 player, and there's no heroic versions for the Anixia raid. Back in the day, people speculated it was a 1% chance to drop. I'm not sure if true, but it's definitely close to that. And to top it off, it's also a 310 mount, even though it doesn't say that in the tooltip. And that is all the mounts coming in Phase 2 and Phase 3. Which one do you want? I actually have a hard time choosing some pretty dope ones this phase. I always really loved that gold and red Alec though. Kind of reminds me of a PGM 500 or something. Guess it's a bit more orange though. I know it's been a while since I've done a video. I have not died. I am still alive. I have not quit well. There's just not been a lot of things I want to make videos about. And I really just don't enjoy Wrath Hunter as much as I did Classic and in TBC Classic. That was a huge part of my content. I've also just been busy as shit. I'm still having some health problems, but I'm doing way better than I was earlier in the year. So. It's kind of a good busy, I'm just doing a lot of dope shit, having a good time, plus steady drinking. So, I've not quit well, we're still making videos, just 
sparsely. Probably level my shaman and rogue while we have this joyous journeys buff too. Let me know in the comments if you're gonna level something. If you enjoyed the video, hit that sub button, bell, like button. I'm never gonna get that Anixia amount button, share button, all that other shit. I appreciate each and every one I get. This channel even has memberships now. You can check them out by clicking the join button right by the sub button. I have streamed on YouTube in the past. I I want to again. I just I've been busy, alright? But that is gonna be all for this one. I really appreciate you all watching and I will see you all for the next one.